Hello, it's Binky from Made in Chelsea and welcome to my brand new beauty channel. Today I'm going to show you how to contour and highlight your face. Contouring is a trick that all top makeup artists use and also Kim Kardashian is also a big fan of this. Contouring sculpts the face and gives the illusion of higher cheekbones and it can even be used to slim your face. First up, I'm going to be using this Bare Minerals Primer, and it's called Prime Time. This is really good to put all over your face. This will keep all the makeup in place and give you a nice smooth base to start off with. It's also got a bit of highlighter in, so it gives you that added glow and radiance. Next up, we're using the Daniel Sandler, my favourite foundation and concealer pack. It's brand new packaging. Love the fact you've got the concealer at the top, then obviously you've got your foundation at the bottom. I'm just going to be applying this on my hand first to show you, and then just applying it all over the face. You can use a brush, but I just use my fingers. Nice small packaging, you've got two in one. The great thing with this product, a small amount goes quite a long way. So it's really good coverage at the same time as being moisturising and glowy. It gives you that glowy effect as well. If you do have any blemishes, which I have a couple at the moment, just use the top of the pack and just dab on with your finger or if you want with a brush, just on your blemishes and they will hide them like magic. Also a really good tip is to put it on either side of your nose here. It takes away any redness or if you've got a cold like I do at the moment so you might not be able to hear me properly, takes any redness from blowing your nose too much. The next product is the Bare Minerals uh, Well Rested Highlighter Slash Concealer in One. I'm going to be using this under the eyes. This is really good because it's a highlighter and concealer in one. I'm going to be just drawing pretty much on my face, under the eyes, and just dabbing it in with your fingers, gently. And what this does, it brightens the eye area and makes you look more awake. Next up is this Daniel Sandler Translucent Powder. Get a big fluffy brush, mix it round, tap it off, this basically keeps all the hard work you've done to your face in. What I love about translucent powder is that it doesn't make your face look all caked in makeup. It's just really light and easy going on. It also takes away any shine you might have. Next up, we've got another Daniel Sandler product, which is called Sculpt and Slim. Take an angled brush and use the darker shade of brown. Suck in your cheeks and then just go under the cheekbone, working it in. You don't want too much of a definite line, you just want to work it in and make it look real. And a good little trick is to do either side of your face, because it makes your face look a bit slimmer. Another great tip is just to work it under your jawline to show some definition. Remember to do your neck as well, because the worst thing is having a bronzed face and white neck. And you know you've done a bit of cheating. Taking a slightly smaller brush, but using the same colour, and doing a really straight line either side of your nose. This gives the illusion of making your nose look thinner and straighter. Don't worry if it looks a bit dark to begin with, we'll blend that all out later. Going back to the Bare Minerals Well Rested Highlighter, I'm going to be putting it on my forehead, down the nose, in a straight line basically, down your face. Starting off here, down the nose, above the keeper's bow, and here, and just dabbing it in with your finger. Basically, putting it down the nose makes your nose look thinner. Putting it above the keeper's bow makes your lips look fuller and just applying above the cheekbones again. You want to apply it to all the high points of your face so it makes you look like you've got amazing bone structure. Taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to be working in the contouring. I sud my nose into my face so there's no harsh lines. Going back to Daniel Sandler palettes, we're going to be using the lighter shade now with a fluffy brush. I'm just going to go along the cheekbones just to set in the highlighter. It adds another dimension because it's got some shimmer in the highlighter as well. Next up is this Daniel Sandler product. It's called Soft Peach and it's like a cream blusher. I'm going to be applying it to the apples of my cheeks just to give myself like a fresh flush. Blend it really well into the apples of your cheeks. I'll be applying a little bit of this to my lips as well. Great two-in-one product again by Daniel Sandler. Going back to the Daniel Sandler Sculpt and Slim palette, I'm going to be taking the lighter shade with this little brush. I love this trick. I'm doing it under the eyebrows. This brightens up your eyes to define the bone. Also, it's like a, like a natural facelift as well. 
and then I'm also going to be taking it into the corner of my eyes which brightens up the eyes at the same time. With a darker colour, taking a different brush, I'm just going to put a natural definition into the eye socket, working it in with the brush. I'm just basically contouring the eye. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. To keep up to date with all my beauty videos, subscribe to the channel. All of the products I have used today will be in the description box below, but you can also get them on essential.com. I'll be back next week and I'll see you then. Bye.